Good day, good day. What's going on, guys? So I'm going to try to make this real uh, quick and simple. Um, <laughs> uh, it's about a dream that I had um, that signifies what's taking place uh, with you guys, okay, in the spirit, what will, be, what will be taking place in your life, what God wants you to know, all right? Um, no more dry places, okay? God is moving you from dry places, all right? Now, this could be dry places within your life, your environment, your mind even, okay? Your character, okay? Um, God is, is shifting. Okay. God is removing you. No more dry bones. I'm, I'm, I'm reminded of the dry bones in um, in Ezekiel. Okay. And it came from a dream where, um, the bones was coming together in the dream and flesh and everything was forming. You know, it's like the bones was, was coming alive. And that's what's taking place. No more dry places because all things are being made new. Okay. Let me, let me, let me, let me break the dream down for you so you can understand where I'm coming from. So basically in my dream, I was at a salon and I don't know why uh, salons are always depicted, but I guess it's, it's a form of what I'm hearing. It's like a form of, um, fellowship, I guess. It's where, you know, you go to be, to be, uh, you kind of fellowship with like-minded individuals. So I guess it, it can signify a ministry. It can signify a lot of things. I didn't look up what a salon meant though, but the dream was pretty much, I was, I was being kicked out of the salon because I kept praising God. Okay. I kept praising God and, and I was speaking in tongues and I was really being obnoxious to a lot of people, but I was praising God. So they kept kicking me out. And what this signified is that many of you all could be in an environment where you are around uh, those in the natural. Okay, I won't. You are you are you are around unbelievers. Okay, you're spiritual and they're natural. Okay, um, however you want to look at that. All right, the unrighteous and the righteousness. Okay, and the righteous, the unrighteous and the righteous. Okay, the unjust and the just. Okay, it might be some sort of environment like that that you're that you're in. Okay, that's what that signifies. Um, the the culture is different, is what I put. Um, and I had short nails in a dream. Um, and it was it was too late for me to 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 tell her that I wanted long nails. Okay, so many of you all could be settling. Okay, settling for things that you don't want. And in this season, God says to not settle. He's taking you out of these dry places, these places where you settle at. Okay, these places, this environment where you're at, these people, they don't, they don't believe like you believe. You might, you, you got faith and they got fear. You know what I'm saying? Okay, new ways. There's going to be new ways for doing things. Okay. Um what else? So God brought me to Haggai to illustrate because I'm like, well, Lord, I need scripture. So I was in Acts, and even Acts did uh it did illustrate for me, but Haggai illustrated even better for me. So I went with Haggai since that was where I flipped to. Let's see, Haggai. Let me get there because I want to read you the scripture. It's going to be Haggai 5 through 8. All right, Haggai chapter 5. No, Haggai 1, 5 through 8. All right, so it says here in, in verse 5, Now therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. Many of you all are needing to consider your ways on how you do things. All right. That's that's going to be changing. Many of you all, you can't do the same things that you've been doing. There's new ways for doing things in which uh, Christ Jesus is going to be uh, informing you of. OK, implementing in your life. And many of us might not. You might not want to do it. You might not want to do it God's way. You might not want to do it his way. All right. Um, but, 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 but this is what has to be done. Okay. This is what has to be done. 
All right. It says, verse six, ye have sown much and bring in little. You eat, but you have not enough. You drink, but you are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put it in a bag with hose. Thus said the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. Verse eight, go up to the mountains and bring wood and build a house and I will take pleasure in it and I will be glorified, said the Lord. Okay, so what the spirit of the Lord is saying is that we ain't satisfied. You, 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 you trying to do it your way will not bring contentment. It will not bring you contentment. Okay. It won't work. God is saying you want to know why it's not working. You need to consider your ways. Consider your ways. Consider how you do things. Perhaps you could be doing things without decency and order. Okay. Um, and so God is changing this. Okay, Haggai goes on to talk about reconstruction of priorities. Okay, a job half done is a job not done. So perhaps you're doing something the wrong way. Okay, you're going at something half, not wholeheartedly. You're going at something partially and not wholeheartedly. What does the Bible say? Be ye hot or cold, lest you lukewarm, he will spew you out of his mouth. So that's many of us are lukewarm. That's what that's what that's what the Bible is saying. It says, commit your ways to God. He will guide and bless our walk. OK, so many of you all are not. I feel like we we, we could be being a little disobedient here. OK, we're, we're, we're trying to do it our own way. OK. And it's causing us to settle. It's causing us to settle for good when God wants to give us his best. Okay. So avoid compromising. Okay. Consider your ways. Okay. Tell somebody, do it God's way. Do it God's way. That's the title of this message. All right. This here is the message. I hope that it brought clarification to you. Oh, and the song that God gave me is, um, and the message in the song is the past is over. All things are made new. Moving, moving forward. Her. You have risen. With all power in your hand, you have given me a second chance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not going back. I'm moving ahead here to declare. To you, the past is over and you, all things are made new, surrendered my life to Christ, moving, moving forward. And in order to do that, you have to do it God's way. Until next time, be blessed guys. I love you with the love of Christ.